Hello again from beautiful Ipswich, Massachusetts, a wonderful historic town founded in 1634. And um, my wife Madge and I have been here for the past well, nearly 11 weeks now during the coronavirus epidemic. And this beautiful instrument behind me uh, was built in 1973 by Charles Fisk, a local uh, organ building company. They're based out of Gloucester, Massachusetts. And I have to say it's been an absolute lifeline from a creative point of view uh, to be able to come and rehearse here and to record here. It's really an incredibly beautiful instrument and only has 21 stops. It's uh, one of the most colorful sounds you could possibly imagine. Over the past eight or nine weeks or so, I've really very much enjoyed making a series of short improvisations on this glorious Fisk organ, partly to show the versatility of the instrument, but also, I suppose, most importantly of all, to, to help to try and soothe people's innermost spirits during this extremely trying time. Today, I thought I would make a homage to my own teacher, Jean Langlais. Jean Langlais was born in Brittany in La Fontenelle in uh, 1907 and died in Paris in 1991. In 1984 and 1985 I was privileged to study with him for two years and uh, I still very often think about him both as a person and, and uh, also his, his musical uh, ideas were so such revolutionary for me at that time. So I've been used to being the organ scholar of King's College, Cambridge, uh, of course, a, a marvelous training. And then uh, I went to Paris for the first time in the spring of 1984 and had my first lesson with Jean Langlais. And I always remember that lesson. The first piece I took to him at his apartment in Rue du Roc was the Franck A Major Fantasy. And I played the first page. Uh, there weren't any wrong notes and I thought it was, it was reasonably okay. The rhythm was okay. And he stopped me and said, Oh, mais non, c'est pas ça. You mustn't play ti, ta, ti, ta, ti, ta, ta. You must play in French music ti, ta, ti, ta, ti, ta, ti, ta, ti. That was what you might call one of those amazing epiphany moments for me as a musician, uh, given permission to be free uh, with the rubato. He was an incredible spirit, a marvelous teacher. Uh, as a teacher of improvisation, I've never known anybody like it. He could listen to you improvise a piece. I remember my first lesson uh, at St. Clotilde, he put the Liber Usualis up on the music desk and opened it at the Pange Lingua. I improvised this short 90 second verset. I still have it on cassette at home. Remember those things, cassettes. And then he moved me off the organ bench and proceeded to pull out the same stops and he played exactly what I just played three minutes before. It was the most incredible feat and I've never really met any other human being who could do that. And I remember very often I used to escort Maitre Longley from the apartment in Rue du Roc uh, through the Paris uh, metro and uh, his memory of that uh, underground system was extraordinary. I remember he said to me once, we'll be very, very careful. There are three steps coming up on the right-hand side, and the third one is slightly uneven. Uh, really an extraordinary figure. And uh, today I'd like to improvise a piece sort of in his style uh, as a, to really show my enormous debt of gratitude to Jean Langlais. 